What's up guys, your boy Dust Jazz, so I'm back in another video and I'm obviously back from exams and we are here to talk about the new Bluey minisodes, which I think was really funny. As of the time of this recording of the 21st of June, there's so far 5 minisodes of Bluey, with one more coming on the way, which is obviously Muffin's toy review. So are these minisodes actually tying in with the timeline of Bluey's main episodes? You know, after sign and surprise. There are a few theories about these episodes tying in with the main timeline, but for now, it's most likely just like a funny side story, of course. So, how long were these episodes actually lasting? It turns out that they were actually the same length or a similar length of the specials or the extras of Bluey's extras, obviously. We are looking around like 1 minute to 3 minutes. So the first episode is called Burger Dog, having the most catchiest song ever on this episode. Next episode is called Bingo 3000, where Bennett tries to perform tech support. And the next episode is probably a fan favourite, Letter, talking about Bennett Healer's backstory of when he was in primary school, or kindy I guess. Next episode was Hungry, and the last episode of this batch in the time of this recording is called Animals. The next episode incoming is called Muffin's Toy Review, talking about a YouTube channel well, a sort of like YouTube channel of Muffin reviewing her toy truck. Hey guys, recording from the 3rd of July and we actually got two new episodes that have come in for Bluey Minisodes. Also we had Muffin's toy review and we had another one called Three Little Pigs. On the toy review episode, it was literally just a toy review of Muffin's toy truck with a literal verification of Muffin's channel. She's even doing better than I am. Like I said, most of these episodes don't really tie in with the Bluey timeline. Or does it? Because there's actually one episode in particular which I think actually ties in well with the actual universe of Bluey. The episode I'm talking about, or mini-sode I'm talking about, is called Letter. Unfortunately, I wasn't the first one to figure this out, but I still want to give my own sort of point of view about it. First thing about this episode is the art style of Bandit Healer. A lot of fans will obviously recognize from the episode called Dragon with Bandit Healer's art style. Bandit Healer's art style has not been progressing because of Bucky Dunson making fun of his car drawings, if you didn't know that, from the Dragon episode. In this episode, it says that Bandit was 5 at the time of making a letter in this episode, and in Dragons, he was 6 in the time of him drawing cars, which therefore shows the similar art style. Hey, I'm 6 years old. I'm at school drawing pictures of cars. That doesn't look like a car! Therefore, it shows that this episode actually tags in with the timeline of Bluey. Another thing most of Bandit Healer's family was mentioned. The same way of the episode of Fairy Tale, when in that episode, most of Bandit Healer's family was mentioned there as well. With it being Nana, Grandpa Bob, Stripe, and Randy Healer. On a similar note, they were both set in the 80s with the letter being set in the 80s as well. This is because of the front cover having Bandit Healer with a mullet, and as well in Fairy Tale of Bandit Healer having a mullet as well in the episode. Another point I want to make about is the use of the same background music or OSTs. The background music used in this episode was a similar OST or the same in the Charades episode. So therefore, it definitely shows that this episode in particular definitely tags in with the timeline of Bluey. So apart from the other episodes, it is most likely that most of them don't actually tag in with the same timeline of Bluey. To sum up this section, there's definitely no doubt that these episodes were definitely funny and were definitely relatable a lot. Now, at the time of this recording, I have found some updates about Bluey's future plans. Now, the evidence I have are most likely to be close to being very true. Now, I have said in my other few videos about Season 4 not being able to be likely to be released after 2025 or 2026. But on Bluey's Reddit, I have found a post about future plans of new episodes being a Christmas special and a Halloween special, as well as Season 4 coming possibly on the way. So why is it most likely that the evidence I have is most likely going to be very true? Now, the Reddit user where I got this evidence from has been quite true for a couple of times for being a leak of, especially for the season 3 episodes 
and the 30 minute specials as well. Somehow the BBC being the distributor were also involved in this situation of the Absolute Leagues. So most likely we are getting very very closer to the new updates of Bluey Season 4 and possibly Bluey Season 5 as well. So as an overall note, my speculations about these updates coming in were most likely going to be very true and coming in quite faster than we thought. Although I did say a couple of times of Bluey Season 4 coming in at a much very later year than 2025 but 2026 but obviously with this obviously new updates coming in we are getting very very closer to bluey season 4 and bluey season 5 with the possible confirmation of this new bluey plan or bluey update coming in very very soon so that was a quick five minute talk about updates and the new bluey minisodes so far if you enjoyed this video make sure you comment like and subscribe and I'm very sorry that I was gone for a while. I did say I did have exams, but eventually I got back. In the meantime, please comment, like, and subscribe, and comment any other ideas or anything that I have may have missed or haven't talked about properly, which I will obviously try and explain in the next episode of Dusk Talked Bluey. As a final note, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.